Okay guys, we're gonna go through our wedge squats. Um, now these, if you don't have a wedge, like the one I have here behind me from the slant board guy, if you can see his little logo there, I'll put his description down in the bottom of the comments. Um, if you would like to get one, um, very, very handy tool. He's got a couple of little devices we are gonna use in, in our program that you can probably get off him. One of the probably only recommendations I'd say of things that you could buy and have at home for us to cover off. Um, this is our wedge squat. So we do it with a heel elevated. As I said, if you don't have one of these at home, look at elevating your heel on some sort of surface, um, getting it up, you know, you could wrap up some towels, a bunch of towels, sort of fold it up and up on top of, or, you know, a brick, um, a paver, anything that you can sort of elevate your heels with a little bit. Um, gonna stand on it nice and easy. And we're gonna squat all the way down and try to keep our chest up nice and upright facing you. So imagine if I've got Superman logo or my Tribe Performance logo, I'm squatting down to keeping that facing forward, not, uh, not bending down and facing down. So facing forward. If you look at it from the side, Make sure you get me a shot here. We're gonna to look to squat all the way down. So as you can see the angle that the feet are on there. Squatting all the way down, staying nice and upright. Coming up, down, up. This helps us work our quads, our vastus medialis, which is a teardrop shaped muscle just here, um, as well as the rest of the quad, but you get a really good burn in here. Um, you do a series of these and you feel like your quads are sticking way out. Um, very, very key to hockey players, um, having strong quads. If you have a look at um, a lot of images of you'll see of uh, some of the top guys when they're running at full pelt, bang, they're going, and you see this big flex of this shape of this muscle in here. You know, you're seeing that real definition of that teardrop as they're running and all that sort of stuff. So hockey players having strong quads for us to be down low in a nice, strong position is really, really crucial. So, wedge squats. Finding something to elevate your feet. Check your program for the number of reps and sets you gotta do. But yeah, elevate your feet. Squatting down, staying upright, go. There'll be some variations where we hold a weight behind us or in front of us, or we've got different things. That'll be stated in your program. These ones are really hard when you get them. Holding hold your weight behind. Keeping you upright and going. Give that a go, guys, and uh, let us know.